a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had descended into heaven, the apostles went back to Jerusalem, a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You, you are, are the, the highest honor, honor of, of our race. race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You, you are, are the, the highest, highest honor, honor of, of our, race. our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You, you are, are the, the highest, highest honor, honor of our race. race. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For the Son of Justice, Christ our God, was born of you. Alleluia. His gospel worthily and well, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, this is your mother. And from that moment the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a memorial of Mary, Mother of the Church. Pope Paul VI solemnly confirmed the title in an address to the Fathers of the Second Vatican Council on the 21st of November 1964, and decreed that the whole Christian people should, by use of this beautiful title, give, give still greater honour to the Mother of God. There's a whole theology about Mary, Mother of God. Her place in the life of the Church developed steadily over the years. Those of us here today, who like me are over the age of 71, will have been alive when the doctrine was promulgated that Mary was assumed into heaven. And she's not some a remote figure. Until the angel reveal, revealed the true state of affairs to Joseph, she was branded as an unmarried pregnant teenager, in danger of being thrown out to be a single mother. In her last month of pregnancy, she had to make the gruelling journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem over primitive roads and tracks, on a donkey if she was lucky, on foot if she was not. The birth arrangements were haphazard, unhygienic and lonely. As soon as her child was born, all sorts of people she had never seen before in her life barged their way in to peer at the baby. And then, within a couple of weeks of the birth, the local ruler directed the mass killing of all male babies under two years old. So it was off on the donkey again to flee the country. Within the month of the birth, Mary had become an asylum seeker in Egypt. It was a really tough life at the bottom of the pile. And a little over 30 years later, she was to be the eyewitness of her child being put to death in the most frightful way possible, just for doing good in the world. 
And that is why Mary appeals to the poor, the disadvantaged, the persecuted, the wrongfully accused, the victims of forces they cannot control, and in many cases cannot understand. And so, whether this past year was a good year, or a bad year, or just a forgettable year for each of us, let us remember that Christ's mother had a far worse life than we can ever have. And yet, she is on our side and ready to help those who ask her. She was present at the birth of the church, which we celebrated yesterday at Pentecost. And that is why the first day after Pentecost is her special day. We all begin with our birth, looking to our mother for food, warmth, and protection. In the opening prayer today, we heard the words, we pray that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day. Let us resolve as her children to carry out that prayer. <laughs>